Hey friends, it's Rachel with Wholesome Handiworks, and today I wanted to bring you a quick video with a very seemingly obvious tip that was life-changing for me, and it has to do with dish soap. I don't know if you've ever tried that new stuff, the Dawn Power Wash, that spray foam magical stuff. It's pretty cool. I have tried it. It does work really, really well. I typically lean towards more natural products if I can get away with it, things like Myers, um, Method, uh, Seventh Generation. I just tend to lean towards more natural products when I can. But my aunt turned me on to the power wash. Have to say, pretty, pretty life changing. Well, it's kind of expensive. And like I said, it's a little unnatural for my taste. The one smells kind of funny, don't really like it. Well, I stumbled upon something that I have really started using now at my sink side, and I really like the results. I started putting regular dish soap into just an old spray bottle. This one happened to be uh, like, was like method all purpose or whatever, ran out of that. Well, now it's soap solution. Why did I do this? I did it by accident. We uh, in Jersey had that stupid spattered lantern fly invasion. And one of the tips I'd read for murdering them um, was spraying them with a dish soap solution. So kind of like a non-toxic way for me <laughs> and the yard, uh, but toxic to the flies to attack them. Well, I didn't use it all. I still had this kicking around and I just had it at the sink side and it's just dish soap. In this case, it was eh, maybe like a third soap and then the rest water. This was just cheapy dish soap from like the dollar store because this was an experiment. So you get the idea. Anyway, I kept this at the, uh, the side of the sink and just, wash my dishes with it. But I tell you what, guys, I really like the dispensing method of actually spritzing my dishes. We also had a really bad drought in Jersey this year and uh, oh, it was gnarly. So we were really, really trying to conserve water. There were water restrictions. We tend to be very water conscious in our house anyway. I found that using spray actually reduced the amount of water that we were using. I was able to just kind of spritz the dishes, especially things like glasses rather than uh using a big sink full of uh, water or globbing you know the soap like on the sponge uh i was able to just lightly mist the glasses take my wet uh, sponge just wash it out and rinse and i didn't have the excess soap that i typically would get when i just squirt dish soap it really just seemed to go far it was a great way to kind of pre-treat things that were like, you know, pans and other stuff that had more caked on. I would just give the pans a spritz, set them aside, kind of let that soak for a minute, but in a low water option. And when I went to wash them, it was so much easier to clean, again, saving water. So the tip is super simple. It's almost like just dopey, but maybe you've already thought of it. But all I'm saying is that it really made life easy for me and I couldn't help but share it. Now, uh, if you don't have a lot of space at your sink, like I really kind of don't, I traded this guy out for something much smaller. My mother-in-law did this too. And uh, so I know like I'm not crazy. Great minds think alike. This is just a travel size bottle. Uh, again, just with a little bit of, um, you know, you can play with the formula yourself. I wouldn't go much more than um, half of the dish soap, but play with it depending on the concentration that you feel works. But point is, this little guy works so nice, doesn't take up much room at the sink, but you still get the same effect. A nice light mist, it's great for cleaning out the coffee pot, um, my thermal tumblers, like my water jugs and stuff. Again, pre-treating stuff, but it's so small and handy, does not take up much space. Another use for these tiny guys is uh, I added one to my camping kit. So my my food, my grub kit, <laughs> you get your little cooking pans and all that kind of stuff. Again, we're trying to uh, go light on water because we don't want to always have a lot of access to it. So um, you can use, I would aim for the most natural cleaner you can get, biodegradable and not scary, toxic and not highly scented, unscented if you can but makes a great addition to your camping kit. I just find that it made it easier to wash that stuff, again, with um, less water involved. So you're using less soap, more water, but less water in the actual washing and rinsing process. So that's all I have for that, guys. I hope that tip was helpful. 
I certainly have enjoyed it. And give it a try, let me know what you think. And feel free to tell your friends, why not? <laughs> Thanks for watching and hope to see you back here soon.